Well, uh, welcome back. I'm Bob Snozell of eBob Internet Marketing. Uh, this is our series of six steps on how to improve your Google ranking. Uh, welcome to part three, which is claim your local places page. Now you may ask, what is a Google places page? Well, a Google places page is a page which Google allows you to use to place all your business information on there on there relative to telephone number, company name, address, website address, images and videos. Google uh, uses this information uh, to be included in searches. It is actually put into the Google Maps, but also they share it with other networks as well. Well, why do you need a Google Places page? Well, if you're a company that uh, operates around a geographical area, say Leeds or West Yorkshire, uh, then you want to be found for searches in that area. And the Google Places page is a, a, a real asset because Google now has given much more prominence to local searches. And you'll find that when you search now for uh, local uh, towns or um, counties, that Google will provide a list of companies uh, here's an example. You'll notice that uh, at some times Google will actually use up to seven companies, um, often called the Golden Seven, but you will note that they actually can take up nearly half of the page, pushing the organic results off. Here's an example. So if you market your business uh, in a local area, it's vital that you have a Google Places page which is effectively uh, presented to Google, giving you the best opportunity of appearing on page one of Google alongside or if not above your competitors. Google also uh, can to merge the organic results of your website along with the Google Places page. The benefit of this is that it gives more information about your business and also a website link. Here's an example. So how do you claim your Google Places page? Well, the first thing is that you require an account with Google. Uh, most people have an account, but this isn't difficult. You can uh, go to Google search and ask to open an account and they will allow you to do this with a um, email address and a password, which they'll then want verifying. Once you have an account or have an existing account, then simply go to that account, open it up, and Google will then show you the various services they provide, and you'll see Google Places. You'll be pleased to know that this doesn't cost you anything. It's a fantastic service from Google. When you click on Google Places, it will take you to the page, and you'll see a note there saying, add another business. Click on this, and it will take you to a page which asks some basic information uh, like this usually a telephone number which allows Google to search uh, and find out if they already have information on this particular company. You will then get an option like this to uh, give you the choice of selecting a listing if it's already there or claiming it as a new listing. Having chosen whichever uh, choice you want, you can then it'll take you to the page where you can either add the new information or modify the existing information. Do this as accurately as possible, ensuring everything is correct. Having completed all the information, you will then have a chance to submit, and when you click on the button, it will take you to a page like this. This may 